yes I am. So I'm gonna have to drink a potion here or something. Let's just hide behind the tree for now. Oh, well, that was good. Missed. Fail. Oh, freaking balls. Seriously, what the hell is this shit? It's got a saber. How many more tool bags do I need for that other quest that I've yet to complete? Or maybe I have completed it, just don't remember. Huh. Oh well. Yep, I have completed it. <laughs> Die, bitch. Thieving Gnomes. That was an easy quest. Almost died, but still an easy quest. Okay, very Pixie hat. And last but not least, a chest. Start again. Oh, good God Almighty! It broke. Of course, it broke. That didn't do it. It's breaking because it's, it's not bloody gothic. In gothic, you can actually retain your lockpicks with good dexterity. I'm not sure about this game though. I've never trained a dexterity-based character. Is this still angry at me? Right, no more messing about. You should have fewer problems now. I've dealt with those gnomes. That's one less problem to worry about. You have my thanks. See Reuben about a reward. So, which one's Reuben? That's Reuben. Okay. Hey, you supposed to be here. Gotta watch yourself around here if you're not authorized. I took care of the gnomes for Severin. That's great. Take some gold. Everyone likes gold. Not me, not today. Got any artifacts or potions? Oh yes, I've got everything. Here, take this. I only got 200 gold. I didn't get any artifacts. Oh wow. Okay, so I've pretty much done everything here. All I need to do really is uh, Go back to Rudolph and complete that quest and then go to the monastery and yeah, just talk to the Inquisitor. And I'm pretty much done chapter one. So it's a very short chapter for some reason. After fifty bloody episodes. But yeah, um chapter one is unbelievably long compared to chapters two, three, and four, which combined are much shorter than chapter one. Chapter two is slightly non-linear. Uh, chapter three is completely, well, almost non-linear. Sorry, com almost linear. And chapter four is also almost linear. There's virtually no quests left in chapter two, three, and four. Because the only real quests you get are the storyline quests and the class quests, which are only like two, three per chapter. But yeah, I'm probably gonna use a speed scroll here. It's gonna help me out. Oh wow! Oh, that actually does help me out quite a bit. I'm now running faster than. Kenyan man. Okay, so I'm first gonna talk to Rudolph because if talking to uh, Fincher does initiate the quest, I'm in kind of deep shit because uh, I'm not sure if this quest is completable anymore. So let's talk to Rudolph when I get to him. God, four frames per second, that's just terrible. Fucking hell, what the hell is 
is this shit? Wow, that's just terrible. Okay, talk to Rudolph. Severin sent me. I'm to report to you. Good. What did he say? Is he sending reinforcements? He'd better be. He can't. He says he has big problems himself. Blast. I thought this would happen. He's going to just leave us here. What a nightmare. We've got a choice. We work faster, or we never get out of here. Thanks for the update. Here, I haven't gold to thank you. Please, take these potions. This guy's a little pussy. There's hardly any enemies in this forest. Yet, he's complaining. Bloody Inquisition. Alright, so we've almost finished up here. All we have to do really is go back to uh, Don Esteban and talk to Fincher, see if I can initiate the quest somehow. If I can't, then this is going to be end the end of the episode. And in the next episode, I'm going to be completing Chapter 2. But actually, before I go to the temple, I just want to see how difficult it is to kill a skeleton. Okay then. Oh, it's not that hard. For some reason. Wow. I'm impressed. I managed to kill a skeleton. A grave. Rest in peace. That means I can probably uh, complete the this quest, which one is uh, the Cursed Lords. So I'm probably be able to complete that. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that next episode as well. Probably not a good idea, but we'll see. Okay, so let me just get the shovel. It's gonna help me out sometime. And head on to Don Esteban. Good god, I don't even remember how I managed to play through this game with such terrible quality. My god, it's just annoying. The game is lagging with such shit graphics as well. Uh, I don't understand how it works like that, but. Uh, might as well just complete it like this till the end of the game because there's gonna be less than. Uh, less than 40 episodes before the game finishes. No real point tweaking it then. I'm going to, however, tweak the game. Gothic 3 for my blind LP for that, which I'm very excited for because with the community in World of Gothic, which is by far one of the friendliest and most helpful communities on the internet for any game, they've been making patches. Uh, there's one new one that just came out, patch 1.74, and yeah, they've been making Gothic 3 how it's meant to be, so when I play that, it's, I hope it's going to be... Uh, fun game that I will enjoy. So yeah, let's talk to Cormac. Who the hell is that? Cormac. Did I talk to him? Never mind. I did. Watch your back. Never mind, that's just fighter. Fincher. Yep. Nothing here. I wonder if I can just pick up him. Never mind. Alright, so this is gonna be the end of the episode. And in the next episode, I'm going to go to the monastery and possibly complete the Cursed Lords. And yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode and right now, have fun. See you later.